on the night of the arson. They put on their masks and then placed the five-gallon fuel containers and activated the timing devices. The Earth Liberation Front is turning up the heat again, igniting devastating blazes all across the country. Fire bombings included attacks on lumber mills, wild horse corrals, and meat packing plants. This investigation was the largest domestic terrorism case in the history of the United States. Sometimes when you see things you love being destroyed, you just want to destroy those things. I was like, man, this is butchered. It made me think, like, why are we being so gentle? The goal is to just send a message that consumer America is destroying the world. When the big bad bully gets hit in the stomach and feels a little fear, that felt good. After the fire, you really looked over your shoulder. People go home at night wondering if they're going to be a target. That's what terrorism is. Eco-terrorism. Eco-terrorist. Eco-terrorism. Environmental terrorism. The police were amping up their presence, and people's views got hardened. This is what we want you to do. We want you to wear a wire. You don't have to be Bonnie and Clyde to be a bank robber, and you don't have to be Al-Qaeda to be a terrorist. No one got hurt, no one was injured. And yet, I'm facing life plus 335 years. I'm not suggesting that the path of destruction is the right path. When you're screaming at the top of your lungs and no one hears you, what are you supposed to do? The old adage that one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter is true.